As an artist, we move questions out of our heads and into our hands. I was trying to work out how to measure things using the human body. What if we stopped using traditional measurements, basically find a way to locate ourselves in time and space? And the easiest point of measurement for me is the breath. I would draw a line the length of the exhalation. What accumulates over time is that your hand and your breath are making a mark which shows the passage of time and it also locates you in space. And what I mean by that is that, for me, I began thinking about, well, what am I breathing in that is making these marks? and that led me into all of these different materials that are connected to breath and breathing, plants, air particulates, harvesting them, foraging for them, bringing them into the studio and turning those into ink. I would look at dying recipes and some old texts about how we used to work with these materials to find colour in them. I would either boil them down, crush them with a hammer, sieve them, put them through a process which makes the material a lot more granular, almost turning it back into dust. Each material has its own quality. With air pollution, so car fumes, the particulates are quite fine and they make a really kind of soft, beautiful grey. And if you put that on the page, you're getting quite close to a moody rain cloud. Whereas if you are using soil, you grind that up to a certain degree and you put that on the page and it really does have these kind of rivers and mountains and it's very granular. It's completely different as a substance. Use cigarettes, which if you boil down the used tobacco, you get a very rich gold and brown, which is quite beautiful. I suddenly, I was really in relationship with this object that's really intimate with someone that I'll never know. And it was their breath that made that picture. Air is moving into all of these objects. The breath is an amazing transition between self and other. And these inks and this type of drawing are an invitation to deepen our relationship with our breath.